What's up good people, Christian Allaire here from Christian Allaire Yoga. Welcome to my home, welcome to Huntington Beach, California where I'm a, a veteran and a yogi and a veteran who turned into a yogi and I'm here to lead you through a little bit of a practice. So encourage you to take child's pose because this will be a bit of a vigorous practice so in case you get a little out of breath, you need to take a little sip of water, please take uh, time to honor your body. And with that, we're gonna begin in child's pose. Let's bring your knees to the floor. Bring your knees mat width distance. Big toes to touch. And your ujjayi breath has this oceanic type quality where you constrict the throat a little bit here. And then from the ujjayi breathing, you start to internally heat your body. So tapas, tapas. We wanna to start to fire it up, the ujjayi, in order to stoke the internal flames. Let's bring some heat into this action here. Breathe in. Empty out. Breathe in. Empty out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Now if you're feeling kind of sore, or if there's warm up or lack thereof, depending on the case, if it's too quick for you, if you're not quite ready to start moving yet, you can pause the video and just take a few minutes to get yourself warmed up. But if you're ready to go, let's follow along with me if you can. Straighten the arms out in front of you. You're gonna lift up the arm bones off the floor. So it's like you're playing a piano, palms are lifted up, they're cupped. You pull the elbows, draw them towards the head. You'll notice that the shoulders start to integrate. So pull the short of the blades in. And then from here, you're gonna take your chin and place it on the floor. Beautiful work, set the forearms back down onto the mat. You're gonna come onto all fours, so your tabletop pose, draw your knees together, and then sit your hips back onto your heels. Okay, I'm facing the camera, so if you're not sure what's going on, just have a look at me. From here, you're gonna take your arms up to the sky. We're gonna do a little side bend, so take the arms up, and exhale the right hand down to the floor, and then you side bend towards the right side. Look underneath the left armpit here. And then inhale, right arm back to the sky. And then let's take it to the left side. Set the left hand down, take a little side stretch. Let's do one more set. We're gonna come up to the sky. The right hand drops down, bending to the right side. I got a little cramp in my foot. And then we'll come back up to center and we'll do it to the left side. Right arm extends over the ear. Beautiful work. Okay, come back to the center and take the palms back to the sky, touch them, and we open to a twist. Right hand side, you wanna take your right arm back, left hand to the knee or to the shin, to the thigh. Back it to the center, let's take the arms back up to the sky. And twist to the left side. Back to the center, raise the arms again, breathe in. Set the hands down, set yourself up for tabletop pose. Hands underneath the shoulders, spread the nice fingers wide. So let's start to cup action here, knees and hips. And let's take a cow face, breath in. And in cat pose, round and hollow. And change, you can keep your toes tucked, you can keep them untucked, totally up to you. Just warm up the spine. Let's change, pull in for rounded cat pose. Rounded cat pose, one more set, cow facing. Let's soften the belly, lift the head. Drishti to the sky. And then back to cat pose. Pull it in, hollow out. Spine hollows and down face dog. Lift up and then start to pedal the feet back and forth. Get a sense of your opening here. Let's shake your head around a lot. Just move it around. Okay, you feel free to take a leg up. Whatever you feel like doing here, it's kind of an open thing. Just getting a little bit of fluid, some ujjayi motion, some flow into the body. Okay, and if you're ready, and I think you are, I hope you are, you're gonna come back to dog pose, and then we're gonna walk forward for ragdoll pose. Top of the mat, feet to hands. Split the feet so they're two fists, right? Grab the elbows, drop in. Stay static or you can create a little dynamism here by going side to side. 
Mm, just let your shoulders be really heavy. You should feel the weight of your hands on the elbows and the gravity asserts when you just start to find that length. Okay, you're gonna wrap the hands behind you, palm to palm grip, interlace the fingers, and then reach the hands up towards the sky and then make a half lift. Come up, you engage the core and now the back with the shoulders at the hip level, your back muscles will really start to fire and bow in. Take the hands away from low back. You're rinsing out the shoulders, pulling the palms together, activation through belly and core. Beautiful, set the hands down to the floor. Let's go into a halfway lift. So hands to the shins, grow it up half. Bow and fold. Twist, right hand stays down, left arm take it up. Look up towards the sky, breathe it in. And bow forward, breathe it out. Okay, we get change, left hand in front of the left toes, take your right arm up, turn your shoulder heads to face to the right, breathe in and let that go. Drop it in and let's rise up to mountain pose. We take it up. Bone by bone, we extend up, breathe in, yogi bow, drop in, so hands to the feet, and then we take a halfway lift, in breath, stepping back, high push-up pose, okay, let's with a high, high push-up here, okay, I want you to bring your knees down to the floor, your fingers are really wide, and I want you to keep your butt high in the air before we go into your upward dog. So bend the elbows into chaturanga arms. You drop your chin and chest between the thumbs. Butt is high in the air. And then drag your belly button forward for cobra poses. You do so, you push the tops of the feet down, draw the elbows into the rib cage. Eye gaze up and forward. Release, chin to the floor. Plank, pose. It's a push up. And we come back to downward facing dog. And you start to pedal out again, just getting a sense of how you feel. Just that little bit of flow should have opened you up a little more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Okay, for the warm-up, I'm going to take you through a sequence that we do at the Yoga Tribe. It is a sun salutation uh, type flow. It moves a little quick, so... Just follow along if you can. It's a, I would say it's a hoot. So let's do this, okay? Take your right foot forward, set it down, set the left knee down, modified lunge. We'll go slower on the first round. So you take the arms up, breathe in, exhale the hands down to the floor, step forward, left foot to the right. Drop the head heavy and then rise to mountain pose. Breath in, palms touch, bow forward right out of the gate. Now at the bottom here, you take another halfway lift, you step your left foot back, Set the left knee down. Oh, I didn't do that right. Take the arms up. Take the hands back down and step back down to down dog. I don't know what the heck I did wrong there. That's okay, come to high plank. Let's breathe it in. A low plank, breathe it out. Inhale to upward dog. And we'll come back to down dog. Maybe I did do it right. I have no idea. Left foot steps forward, set the right knee down. Take the arms up, modified lunge. Reach up, back bend. Hands to the floor, breathe out, step forward, head hangs very heavy, drop in, mountain pose, we rise and we shine. Breathe in, yogi bow, right foot steps back, right knee sets down, take the arms up, breathe it in, back bend, and then hands to the floor, make your way to down dog, left foot steps back, breathe out, high plank, low plank chaturanga arms, Upward dog, breath in, down dog. We move through two more. Right foot steps, left knee sets, back bend lunge. Hands to the floor, step forward. Drop the head low, chin chest, mountain pose, rise. Bow. Left foot steps back, left knee sets down. Again, it's a back bend lunge, take it up. Exhale the hands down, step it back, dog pose. Empty the breath, melt the heels, plank pose. Low plank, give it an up dog. Give it a down dog. Left foot steps, set the knee down, right side, back bend, lunge, arms up, reach. Hands to the floor, bring it to the top, right to left. Head hangs really heavy, rise to mountain. Bow in, fold, 
Uttanasana here, bowing. Take your right foot back, set the knee down. Up with the arms, back bend, lunge. Hands to the floor, down dog. Left foot comes back, breathe it out. Stick with me, people. High plank, low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Now we're gonna change it up a little bit. So come up onto your toe mounds, rise up. Bend the knees, look between the thumbs. Float forward. Land soft. Halfway left. Bow. Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit down, squeeze into center line. Reach up through the arms, get big and wide in the mid back. Lift the chin for drishti. Breathe in. Bow forward. Inhale, grow long. Plant the palms, chaturanga, flow low. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale, down dog. Let's take the right leg up. And then bring your right knee to your right shoulder. Tap the shoulder, kick it back to the sky. Keep the core active. Right knee to the nose. Three-legged dog, kick it back. Twist, right knee to left tricep. Turn the head to the left. Take it back to the sky. High lunge, right foot comes forward. Take the arms up to the sky. Breathe in, breathe out. So you start to fire up through the back leg, softening into the right knee. Arms can be in a V, that's fine. Just find the lunge. Drishti is out in front of you. Now, from here, touch the palms above your head. Take the arms out in front of you. I'd like you to protract the shoulders. So retraction is this, protraction is shoulders out. Now take your right arm behind you. Turn your head, look at your right thumb. Come back to the center, palm to palm, here palm to palm. Open up to warrior two. Left hand comes back, looking over your right thumb. Inhale, straighten your right leg, pivot your right toes in. So toes in, heels out, wide leg. Palms come out in front of you, reach protraction of shoulders. Take the arms up to the sky, breathe in. Warrior two, bending into your left leg. Dip into the left leg, set the arms out over the floor. Breathe into a little deeper, freer opening of the body. Breathe in. Sink a little deeper. Let's reverse your warrior. Left palm flips. Take it up. Dip into the left knee. Compression on your right rib cage. Lots of freedom in the intercostals on the left side. Yeah, and we'll come to side angle lunge. Forearm to the thigh. Right arm over and up. Or up and over. Stay really firm and grounded in the knife edge side, the outer edge of the right foot. Okay, you want to activate through your toes. If you lift your toes, you're going to feel the arches start to activate. It's really nice. Take a nice deep breath in, come to runner's lunge, frame the foot, let's kick the right heel up off the mat. Low plank, send the left foot back, low plank. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog, let's take the left leg up. Left knee to left shoulder, tap the shoulder, coming past the wrists. Kick it back, Sky. Knee to nose, round hollow. Kick it back. Left knee to the right, try. Twist, look to the right. Take it back, left leg, Sky. High lunge, left foot steps forward. Take the arms up. Adjust the feet. Left hip back, right hip goes forward. Nice and contracted here. Fingertips here, fiery. Spark it open, lots of energy. Beautiful, palms touch above the head. Send the arms out in front of you. Twist, left hand comes behind you and as your hand comes back behind you, turn your head. Right eyeball searches for your left thumb. Okay, back to the center, left palm meets the right out in front. Open up to warrior two, right heel seals the deal, spins flat. Breathe, breathe out, breathe, breathe out. Okay, now straighten your left leg, pivot the left toes. Let's take the arms above the head, reach up. 
Awesome. Bring the hands out in front of you. Protract the shoulders. And from here, warrior two. Bend into the right leg. Float the arms out over the floor. Right palm flips. You reverse the warrior. And we remain for two to three breaths. Your drishti either can be down the back leg or up towards the right hand. Okay, release the side angle lunge, form thigh. Left arm, send it up, send it over. Scoop the tailbone underneath so your tailbone is kind of facing toward your, your left heel. Keep nice and contracted through the back leg. A little bit of sukha and the easing into the right knee. Effort and ease, effort and ease. Oh yeah, let's take our runner's lunge. Release, frame the right foot, float it back, low plank, exhale. Inhale to upward dog. Down dog, breathe out. Okay, you're in down dog with the feet split. I want you to bring your hands toward one another and touch your two thumbs. And now bring your two index fingertips to touch. Okay, so it's kind of like a triangle out in front of you. Drop your head so you're looking between the feet for drishti. And then three times, you're going to bend the elbows out to each side, left to right, and you're going to dip your head towards your fingers. So it's tricep work. Hit the floor, straighten back up. One. Dip down. So you're going slow, active through core, straighten the arms back out. Let's do one more. You're dipping it in. And let's straighten the arms back out. Reset the hands for traditional downward facing dog. Rise to the toes, breathe it in. Bend the knees, look between the thumbs, hop it up. Long spine, lift. Bow in. Chair pose, sit down, squeeze in. Breathe in. Yogi bow, breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale, look up. Chaturanga, float it back. Land softly, sweep to an upward dog, pay close attention, low plank. Five, four, three, two, high plank, press it up. Now you're in high plank, take your right toes about an inch off the floor. Pulse the toes. One, two, three, four, five. Right knee to the nose, round and dome the spine, pull it in. Kick it back, three-legged dog. High lunge, right foot. Arms extend. Palms to touch. Send the arms out in front of you. Protraction. Twist to the right. Look at your right thumb. Back to center, palm to palm. Protraction. Warrior two. Open up. Straighten your right leg. Pivot the right toes. Take the arms out in front of you. Take the arms up to the sky. Warrior two into the left knee. Left palm flips, reverse, breathe in. Extended side angle, breathe out. Send the right arm up, send the right arm over your ear. Three, two, runner's lunge. You're gonna set down here. Frame the foot, low plank, exhale. Inhale to upward dog. Empty out, down dog. Rise to your toes, breathe in. Bend the knees, hop forward. Halfway up, empty bow. Chair pose, one breath. Reach up, sit down, fold in. Halfway lift. Chaturanga, float it back. Soft landing. It's an inhale to upward dog, listen for the change. Low plank. Five, four, three, two. High plank, press it up. Stay in plank. Raise the left toes only an inch. Five pulses. One, two, three, four, five. Left knee to the nose. Drive the hips up by contraction of core. Three-legged dog, left leg. High lunge, left foot to the front of the mat. Raise the arms. Palms to touch. Send the arms out in front of you. Protraction. Twist it to the left. Eyeball gaze to the left thumb. To the center, palms touch. Warrior two. Right hand 
reaches back behind you, sink into the left knee. Now straighten the left leg, raise the arms up. Palms out in front of you for protraction, glide into two. Dip into the right knee, right palm flips, you reverse your warrior up and back. Extended side angle, take it down, send the left arm over your ear. Three, two, runner's lunge, release. Frame the right foot, low plank. Float the right foot back, low plank. Scoop to upward dog. Empty out, down face dog. Beautiful. Walk the hands to the back edge of your mat, peace sign fingers to your toes. Let's grab a hold of the big toes here, halfway up, in. Yogi bow. Halfway up, in. Stay connected with the fingers and toes. Dip it in, bow. One more time, lift. Bow in. Draw the elbows to the side, release the shoulders to the sky, chin to the chest. Yogi squat, coming down, back edge of the mat. Palms touch, let's lift your chest, pushing the knees away. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. One more round of breath. Empty out. Okay, we're gonna take a twist. Right hand reaches out and extends to the right side to lock your right knee into place. Take your left arm up. Twist open. Back to the center, palm to palm. Lift the heart, realign the spine, twist it out to the other side. Plant the left hand, lock the knee in, and right arm to the sky. Okay, let's release the right hand to the floor. Now you're gonna lift your hips. Point the toes to 12 o'clock and walk the hands forward, downward facing dog. Beautiful work. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, do one more round of breath. And uh, I'm going to demonstrate a Hindu push-up, or sometimes we call it turbo dog. And we're gonna do a couple of these. So, what we wanna do is you wanna bring the hands a little closer in. And turbo dog is kinda like that little tricep work we did where you bend the elbows out to the side. So as you start to bend the elbows out to the side, you literally try to drag your nose along the mat and then you come forward. Now notice my toes have not untucked. So I'm an upward dog with toes untucked. And then we reverse engineer and you push it out. Okay, it's harder to do it slower. I'll just tell you that. So I'll do one more and I'll do it at speed. So you wanna bend the elbows, come forward and then boom. And then you reverse out of it. Okay, let's do one together. So here we go, three, two, one, bend the elbows, drag the nose across the floor, keep the toes tucked, and then reverse engineer back to dog pose. Ooh, straighten it out. Booyah, rise to the toes, bend the knees, hop it up. Halfway lift, in breath, yogi bow. Rise mountain, big breath. Hands to the heart center, breathe out. Okay, dancer's pose. You're gonna send your right arm up, drop your left hand down. Swing your left heel, grab the inside of the foot on the left side, bring the knees together, and start to dial in. Okay, when you're ready, let's take a breath in, and go for your dance. And release. Bring your left foot back down to the floor, other side. And now the left hand is up. Swing your right heel up. Capture the inside of the foot. Draw the knees together. Firm it up. Straighten out through your left leg. Take a breath in. And then go to warrior, or excuse me, the second dancer position.
and release. Beautiful work. Right foot sets down onto the floor. You're gonna take another breath in, reaching the arms up to Tadasana. Reach up, breathe in. Yogi bow. Split the feet apart here. You're gonna step the hands underneath the feet for Padastasana. Here we go. Toes into the wrist creases, drop the chin down, and then take a halfway lift. And fold. Okay, release the hands here. Now bring your feet closer in and then sit your butt onto the floor, Navasana, boat pose. Let's take the shins up and we'll send the arms out to the side. Shins are parallel-ish, chest is blooming up to the sky. And we'll just take the hands out to the side, keep the core in, drishti at start, go to your toes. And then as you start to really contract, and synchronize and stabilize. You start to lift your chin up a little bit and then maybe you float the feet and maybe you send the hands up. Stay with me, three. Stay with me, two. And let's cross our ankles and rock over the feet, plant the hands, shoot it back, low plank. Inhale to upward dog. Back to down face dog, breathing out. Booyah, three breaths. Inhale, and empty. In, empty out. Feet come together at the back edge of your mat. Make your way to plank pose, high plank, side plank, heels to the right, heels to the right, left arm extends. Okay, now we're going to take the left foot up off the floor and bend the left knee and set the left toes for wild thing behind you. Open up the heart. Open up the heart. Moving to fallen star, take the left hand down, kick the left foot across the floor, Raise the right arm, open up. Awesome work, coming to low plank, dropping into low push-up. Inhale, upward dog. Pay attention, come to low plank. High plank, left knee to the nose, suck it in deeply. Kick it back to the sky, left leg up. Send it forward, crescent pose. Extend up through the arms, breathe. Open up to warrior two. Straighten your left leg. Triangle pose, tick tock. Take your right arm up and then over your ear, opening up. Okay, very slowly, come back up. You're lifting back up. Pivot your left toes, hands to the heart, drop into Skandasana. So right butt cheek over the heel. You're looking over your left toes. Sorry they have my back to the camera. I'm still trying to figure that out. In three, we walk it into warrior three. In two, we walk it into warrior three. In one, walk it into warrior three. Bend into the left leg, take your right leg off the floor, and then fly your warrior three. Send the arms out in front. Keep leveling off through the right hip. Slowly stand up, right foot meets the left, arms to the sky, mountain pose. Bow in, yogi bow. Inhale, halfway. Exhale to chaturanga, low. Sweep to up. Come to down, dog. Feet together, align. High plank, side plank, right arm. Take it up. Slowly start to bring your right leg up, 
you bend your knee, you want to hover it into your back bend. Wild thing, set the right toes down and then open up. Okay, as graceful as a dancer, you come into your star pose. Not your star pose. Left arm to the sky. Fall in star pose. Notice I'm slowing the pace down here. Low plank, send the right foot back, drop into low push up. Upward dog, you breathe it in. Low plank. Plank, right knee to the nose. Drive the tail up, try to kiss the knee. Kick your right leg to the sky. High lunge, send the right foot forward. Raise the arms. Open up to two. Inhale, straighten your right leg. Triangle pose. Take the right hand to the shin. Rest weight upon your right arm. Send your left arm over your ear. We rise in three. In two. Okay, we come, as we come up, you pivot the right toes, we drop into Skandasana pose. I have to be careful because of my hip. As I said in previous videos, I'm seven months post total hip replacement on my left side. I'm quite amazed I can even do what I do at seven months. Thanks for the practice. Okay. In three, we move to warrior three. Three. Two. One. Walk it forward. Out of Skandasana. Keep the soft bend in the right leg. Lift your left leg. Send your arms forward, warrior three. Stand it up, left foot to the floor, arms to the sky. Breathe in. Bow forward, breathe out. We're gonna skip the vinyasa. I'm gonna ask that you just step back to dog pose, downward facing, hips to the sky. And then we have one, maybe two sets of turbo dog. So bend the elbows, come down, drag the nose across the floor, to the up dog with the toes curled, and then reverse engineer. One. Second turbo, coming down, drag it, look up dog, reverse engineer. Oh, your triceps are going to thank me in the morning for sure. Awesome work. Let's set the knees down onto the floor. Curl your ankles, cross them underneath, make your way onto your back. Setting up for bridge and a wheel pose. Bend the knees. Fingers reach towards the heels. You're really active through the soles of the feet. That's where your work is gonna derive from. So your palms are on the floor, let's press through the feet. Once the thighs start to lift, Walk the hands underneath your butt, lace it up. We start to pull the shoulders in, palm to palm grip. So here's a different variation that not many people do. Most people will lock out their arms and straighten their arms. Try to keep your arms bent so your thumbs are actually right in your clenched butt cheeks. But your arms are bent and so now the triceps are the root and the ground and the foundation. So keep press, keep the arms bent. Pull the palms together, keep the chin tucked, and release. We take one breath, in, empty, full wheel, do it. Hands alongside the ears, press up, full wheel. No messing around, just get after it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, come.
come out of wheel pose. Dip it down, let's bring the knees into the chest. Beautiful work. Send the legs to the sky, flex the toes to the face, lace up the fingers behind the head. Engage the core, keep the heels directly over your butt, not towards the face, not towards the back of the room, but generally stacked as precisely over your butt. 10 times, pulse it up. One. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10. We're gonna do 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna do ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Full wheel. Set the feet down, hands alongside the ears, press up. Full wheel. Release your belly muscles. Wheel pose. And release, out of wheel pose. Tuck the chin, bring the knees into the chest. Awesome work. Grab the backs of your knees, rock and roll vinyasa, back and forth on the spine several times. And when you're ready, as always, if you have a handstand practice, this is a great time to practice your inversions where you come upside down and land it. And we go up dog, we mosey to down face dog. Emptying out the lungs, reset, downward dog. Okay, let's send your right leg up and lizard lunge, right foot to the outside of your right wrist. Okay, with your right hand, Let's do this. Let's drop your left knee down to the floor. With your right hand, push it in to the inside of the right knee. And you start to roll the chest to open. So from this angle, I'm doing it opposite of you, but you want to push the knee away. You're seeing the sole of the foot, and then you're rolling open. Just opening up. Then you can take your left foot in, and with your hand, grab a hold of the foot and start to kick the foot into the hand, and the hand and the foot, and you rotate the chest open. Okay, release. Then we're gonna go to half pigeon. So toe heel your right foot across the floor. Set the outer edge of your shin down. Walk your left foot back as necessary. Square up to the front of the mat. And then we start to come into a Sleepy pigeon, or stand your hands and forearms. Moving back into the breath. Noticing how the shifting of energy from when we've started. How do you feel? Did you grow that edge? Did you move past it? Did you not even come anywhere near it? And as always, just being grateful for being able to have the opportunity to get on your mat daily. Okay, let's come to down dog. Plant your hands. You want to use your core, even pulling the knee into the chest, sending the right leg back. It's a little more core action activation. So your down dog, wrap the tries underneath, melt the heart. Should be very open by now, so a nice and long stretch and dog pose feels so good. Okay, let's take lizard lunge, left foot. Set it down to the outer edge of your left hand. Okay, then we set the knee down. And you wanna have a little bit of soul. So now you push the left hand and you straighten the arm out as best you can. And you start to rotate open. Now where could you feel it? You could be feeling in the front of the right hip. You could feel it in your glute. Also sometimes hamstring, my hamstring will fire here, but again, I have 
a total hip replacement on the left side. So weird stuff happens to me. Okay, when you're ready, kick the right heel in with the left hand, take the foot and rotate open. As you rotate open, see about sinking down and forward, opening up the chest. Okay, if you're feeling good, and if you're ready, let's release out of this pose. And then you toe heel the left foot across the floor, half pigeon. Okay, you wanna create space between your left heel and the front of your right hip. Space between the left heel and the front of the right hip. And when you're ready, anytime, take it in to your deeper fold, your sleepy pigeon. And release, let's pull the left knee into the nose as you step back to downward facing dog. Okay, about three breaths here in down dog. Pedal it out, get a little neutralization in the spine. Just winding down here, stay present though, keeping the eyes open. Still have a little bit of work to do here. So let's walk the feet roughly halfway up the mat. Again, you're gonna sit your butt onto the floor and we're gonna send the feet out in front of us, okay? We're gonna sit up for our double-legged forward fold. So we'll keep the feet closer together on this, in this modification of forward fold. I'd like you to send your arms up to the sky, pull the pit of the belly in, and then bow in. Either fingers to toes, or you could grab the outer edges of, of your feet. Activate as if you're pressing your feet into a, a piece of plywood, a flat surface. You're active here. And then you slowly start to draw the elbows down towards the floor. Once you get the spine to flatten out a little bit by lifting the chin, then you can totally relax when you drop the chin to the chest and then you create a rounded spine. But just remember, Mother Nature creates the conditions of a rounded spine. As we get older, um, we lose our eyesight, so therefore we spend more time looking down. It creates the hunched shoulders. So in yoga, we are actually counteracting these things where the body is being reorganized every time you practice over and over and over. A reorganization, a reshuffling of energy to keep us young and healthy and we start to learn about our spirit and we start to excavate. And we start to learn who we are. Okay, we're going to release. Now you're going to bring the feet apart. So it's a wide-legged fold with your feet nice and wide here. You want to ground down through the heels, flexing the toes back towards the kneecaps. Okay, your flesh bones are sitting in the floor. You're going to take the arms up long, breathe in, and then take it down. Now spider, I like to spider the fingers either to the uh, toes or I'll walk the hands out in front. But notice the heels will have a tendency to collapse in. So I'll use myself as an example. Because of a, my hip replacement surgery, my abductor muscles on the inside of my thigh are extremely weak. So these toes will just roll in. I have to really activate, and even then I don't have the musculature to turn it open. Now the right side, no problem. I can roll that open, still working on that. So as always, injuries are really informative and humbling, but ultimately they are a good thing because to go through life or go through yoga practice thinking that you're not going to get injured or get aches and pains just ain't true. Okay, you're gonna release, you're gonna come back up. Now we're gonna move in for a seated twist. So you bring your left heel in and bring the right leg up and over, okay? Ideally, you wanna get your right butt cheek to the floor you're going to send your right hand, place it behind you, send the left arm to the sky, breathe in. Now either twist to the right and draw the elbow to the outside or take your left hand in front of the shin and then work this. As you lift in, you extend the spine up and then turn your head. You should feel your right glute fire up. And remember, you're trying to keep both hip points firmly and evenly placed into the floor. 
Coming back to the center, we'll counter twist. So you turn to the left side, chaturanga arms. You just dip your forehead down towards the floor. I think it feels juicy. And then we'll try the other side, shall we? Unwind, left, over right. You don't want your right heel to get in the way of your left glute hitting the mat, so just create space with the heel. Send the left arm behind and the right arm to the sky, and then twist it open. counter twist. Turn to the right, dip it down just a little bit. Okay, we're going to come back up, make your way onto your back. Make your way onto your back. Okay, we're going to take shoulder stand, so send your feet up to the sky. Lift, walk the hands up the low back, draw the elbows in, kick the feet up. So I always say, People seem to think this is like a wasted pose or a bunk type pose, but this is actually really purifying for the system. The lymphatic system, especially as all the blood cascades from the toes through the ankles, comes down through the shins into the core region. So it reverses the natural flow and it flushes out. The power yoga that we do all of the yoga that we do really comes from a 15th century text called the Hatha Yoga Pratipika and every form any every lineage of the physical practice really can be derived from that book from that musing and it is called a science of purification okay let's let the toes come back toes touch plow pose Deaf man's pose. Fish pose. Palms to the floor, align them with your own butt. Control the descent. Butt cheeks hit the hips. And then you bloom the chest up. Counter bend to deaf man's and plow. And release, make your way onto your back. Bring both knees into your chest. Hug it in, hug it in, and let your knees fall to the right. Twist. To the center, hug it in, knees to the left. Coming back to the center, wrap your arms in front of your shins. Pull your face into your knees, round. Shavasana. Take the feet forward, let your toes drift apart, palms to face up. Eyes to close, breath to flow naturally. And I would encourage you to bring some kind of thought of gratitude to your mind. And when you're grateful, it becomes your way of being.
Wiggle your fingers and toes. If you need to stay in Shavasana pose longer, by all means, stay right where you are. But if you're gonna stay with me, extend the arms above the head with your thumbs connected and hooked. Stretch like you're getting out of bed in the morning. Stretch it out. And then bring the knees into the rib cage one more time. And then roll to the side body and come up to a seated position. Any kind of campfire style that feels comfortable and suited for you. Close the eyes, palms to touch, thumbs to heart, heart to thumbs. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. So much gratitude for the practice today. The higher self in me honors the higher self in you. Namaste. Once again, my name is Christian Allaire. So grateful that you checked in on my YouTube channel. And if you could do me a solid and subscribe to the channel and mash down on that like button, I would really, really be grateful so we can get more of these practices out to people who need them. Have a great day. Namaste.